there, it's Karen Leba with VintageDazzle.Etsy.com here with another Vintage Haul. This is a, another mystery box from my sister-in-law Amelia. I have opened it and just peeked inside to see kind of what it was. And it's got some jewelry and some textiles and so far that's all I know. I'm going to be putting the jewelry to the side and I'm going to do that all at the end. Uh, with a different camera setup, or I might do it in a separate video, but I will let you know. So, uh, with that said, let's get started. See what we've got here. Okay, so this is jewelry. Put that aside. This is a darling little purse. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. It's all, it's very, very tiny, tiny cross stitch. I'm guessing this is. Asian, uh, and there is some jewelry inside. Ooh, there's a lot of jewelry. Good, good, good. I need jewelry. Okay, so that aside, and let's see. Oh my gosh, this is something huge. Okay, let's see. She's got things all. Ooh. This is cute. It's a little pouch with um, tiny stitching. It's like a, it's kind of like a mola, like a Panama mola, but I've never seen one made like this with this kind of fabric before, but that's kind of what it is. Could be. And it also, this has jewelry inside it also. So that to the side and this is another one they're, they're just little pouches they don't do they have any straps or anything no cute though they make like a cute little um wallet i guess you could fold them you want it that on the outside i guess that's got jewelry also yay and this one Oh boy, I'm excited about the jewelry. I never know if there's going to be any jewelry or if it's going to be all textiles or who knows what. You never know with my sister's-in-law. This has got little pom-poms on it and little tassels and beautiful tiny cross stitch. Okay, and it's uh, another one. Yeah, these are molas from Panama, but I've just never seen them made quite like this before. So cute. And yay. Okay. This is a very large piece of fabric. It appears to be a batik, African batik, I think. Since it has a giraffe on it, that would be my guess. Definitely handmade. Wow, that's beautiful. I love those beautiful subdued colors. Like a plum color and a mustard, dark mustard, and ooh, that's pretty. Ah, ah, ah. What are you doing? Don't you do any trouble. That's my cat. Oops. Okay. I have a box that has jewelry in it. This box might be more jewelry than textiles. This is a Nordstrom bag with jewelry in it. <laughs> this is a bag with a kitty cat on it. Also got some jewelry. So there might be a loose piece of jewelry rolling around in there somewhere. This is another empty bag. If she, she may have just given me, you know, because they come in useful. Kind of handy if you're storing jewelry. Okay. This, I don't know what this is. Looks intriguing. It is, oh, it's a kimono. Oh, I love these. Oh, this is beautiful. I shall model it for you. Little long 
home for me. It's dragging the floor about a foot back. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love, look at this fabric. Isn't that pretty? Where in the world she gets all these? I, I guess, I know she buys a lot of things at um, church, church rummage sales. It's her favorite. They have really good ones where she lives in Washington, D.C. She says a lot of the uh, diplomats, people from other countries, donate to them. So that's how we end up with such beautiful things. Okay, now then we have Silver Jewelry Treasures, a book. Ooh, with lots of pretty pictures. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so oh, fun. Looks like revised third edition. Ooh, price guide. Okay, that's cool. Oh, uh, a book on Turkish embroidery, which would have been very useful to me when I was actually listing all that Turkish embroidery, but I've already listed it all now. I guess I can try to learn more about it. Oh, pretty. Okay. Sorry. Um, more silver jewelry treasures. I wonder if this is like a different edition of the same book. book. Third edition. Uh, Schiffer Publishing. Schiffer. Nancy Schiffer. Yep. Yep. Could be the same book. Okay. Jewelry. Off to the side. Oh, now this looks very nice. This is a... This is a shirt. Goes like this. Uh, looks like Guatemala, I think. Nice one. Has this uh, a gathered, a gathered neckline. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's got some beautiful embroidery. This is for for um, Guatemala. It's very very fine. I th I think that's Guatemala. I think so. Pretty. And we have, oh, look at this. So here's the tag. It says, cotton border, 116 inches by 34 inches, $4. What in the world? It's got boats. Quite large. Wow. Uh-huh. So it's this, oops, times two, times four. It's this, this much times four with these boats. Now, I'm not sure what, what exactly you do with it. You can make a skirt out of it. is it for the box, so I am going to go ahead and do the jewelry, because we haven't been up that long, and so I'm going to move the um, camera in a different place, and then start again. Okay, I am back, and uh, we're going to start with the little kitty cat bag, see what's in here, and this appears to be a cuff bracelet, and some matching earrings. And um, these are, well, it's marked sterling. So, and these are screw back earrings. Oops, interesting. Okay. OK, 
Okay, let's look at this box. Nice box with cotton. Okay, so we have a can of teal brooch. Wait, hold on, I'm going to fix one. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so we were on this. The, um, this is a can of teal brooch. It looks old. It's got a tube hinge and a C-clasp. So that could well be Victorian era. Gorgeous. And we have... Oops. We have... A necklace. There's a rhinestones. And so it looks like there's a missing pearl right there. Somewhere on this. There, right there. Okay. Alright, and this is... Is it marked? Yes, it is. It is a Trafari. Alright, those are always nice. And then, this is another can of teal. Bow. Brooch. It also appears to be very old. It's got a tube hinge and a C-clasp. And we have these. Nice silver drop earrings. Uh, they are marked 925. I've sold some exactly like those, except I think they were smaller. These are big ones. And then these, these are post earrings. Very nice. If I can get the dangles to behave. Those are nice. And they are Mexico 925. Marked TE19. So those are going to be 1980s or later. Okay. Put that right there. Right. I'll move on to the Nordstrom bag. So if this is your first time watching me, the reason that my sister-in-law sends me all this stuff is she has spent her lifetime shopping, shopping and shopping and shopping. And she's decided to clear out some of her collections. She collects a lot of silver jewelry and a lot of textiles. Those are her favorite things. So, she's just sending me stuff to sell in my Etsy shop. And that's what I do. And this has a little hang tag on it. it appears to be Mexican silver and... Okay, let's see if you can see that. It's not going to focus on it, but anyway, it is signed MMB, has an eagle mark, Mexico. That's very nice. Any any of these silver bead necklaces, they always sell really well. And this, this is adorable. Looks like a peacock brooch with a textile sample. That is quite unusual. It is signed 950. 950 silver. Wow! I just have... I'm speechless. I have no idea. That's interesting. <laughs> Anybody knows what that is or what the significance of the textile is, please let me know. Okay, that's the Nordstrom bag. We got this. Which is a brooch. Uh, oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. Woo! That is pretty and it is marked uh, Sterling Tosco. 
there. And it's signed AF and it has an eagle mark that's kind of looks like it might be a seven, but I can't tell. Oh. Interesting. Okay, here's another plastic bag. This has a beaded. Oh, she also collects beads. I should tell you that. These look like um, African trade bead style. Necklace. Nice. Bet she bought this at my mother in law's. $10. At my mother in law's uh, rummage sale. Or maybe that, that tag looks familiar to me. Okay. We have this bag. Oops. Sorry, I keep bumping the camera. Oops, okay. I don't know if I can get this untangled. Oh my goodness, this is quite a mess, isn't it? What have I done? There we go. Okay. We have, oh, now those are nice. With azure malachite. Oh, those are gorgeous. Are there two of them? Yes, there are. Uh, probably Native American. There's a, a mark and it says STER, S-T-E-R. I'll have to see if I can figure out what that mark is. Mark says the same thing. It's like a T and something else. Oh, those are just delightful. I have this bracelet with the kind of brown stones. Could be amber. Could be glass. Um, this looks kind of Native American, but let's see. doesn't appear, it does, oh, there's a 925, it's real faint. It's really, very faint across there. So that could be Native American. Okay, here is another bracelet. How does that open? Does it not open? Oh no, it's got a hinge on it. Oh, there's some marks. It's got some marks right there, right there. And that says, Hecho en Mexico, and it's got a date, uh, a code, T-O something, 95, so, Mexican silver, and these, this opens like, well, I don't know how it opens, like, okay, you have to be smarter than me to figure out how this opens. But it has a hinge down here, so it opens somehow. Okay, I'll have to figure that out later. Um, we have a sterling silver, kind of a modernist pendant necklace. Very nice. I'm guessing this is marked somewhere, maybe on the chain. Okay, we have some more earrings. Like that. Uh, I can't tell that these are marked. There's kind of not much of a surface to mark on. I don't know, but they're pretty. Nice. Oh, wow, look at this. Ah, oh, that is interesting. It's like a piece of sculpture. 
very mid-century. Wow, let's see what it says. It says, oh, it's signed. P. Maliz, M-A-L-Y-S-Z, silver, 925. And then there's another um, tiny little mark. I can't can't tell what that fourth mark is, but there's the mark on it. Nice. Wow. Wow, I love that. Can't wait to look that up. And then there seems to be a tiny little pendant that fell off the azure malachite earring, so I will reattach that. Wow, there's a lot here. A lot of jewelry. <laughs> oh, I've been pining for jewelry and I had it sitting here all this time. I just, I didn't want to open another box until I'd kind of gotten control of the textiles from the last box, which I sort of have. I still have some that I haven't listed, but I've listed a lot. And these are some very unusual silver dangle earrings. I don't know. I have to get them organized, but I need a little cleaning. And what do they say on the back? Nothing. I don't see anything. Oh, rats. Unsigned. Huh. All right. These look like onyx and silver. And... They are Mexican silver. It's a mark right there. Cool. This I'm loving. What is that beautiful green stone? It's scratched, so it's not jade. <laughs> it's 800 silver, so it's old. It's got a C clasp, but not a tube clasp. Probably early 20th century, up, up to the 30s maybe. And I don't know what that green stone is. No clue. But it's beautiful. And we have a ship. A sailing ship. That looks like it's probably a garnet right there. Um, Ninety-five. Uh, it's ninety-five, and then it says something else right there. But I can't quite tell what it says. Might be a date. I don't know. Oh, this is gorgeous. Ah. Uh, Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love it. That is adorable. Okay, what is this, Danecraft? Is that what that says? I think it does. Yeah, this is a Danecraft. Sterling, those do well. I love Danecraft. Yummy. Okay, we have another necklace of some kind. Let's see if I can get it. Ah! Sorry. Okay. It goes like that. It's like a garland swag necklace. It appears to be, it appears to be silver. I don't know for sure. Yeah, the clasp is marked 95, so I'm going to assume the rest of it is also. 
Very nice. Don't know who made it. And... Oh, come on. This is another necklace. Ooh, that is so pretty. Look at that. Oh, that's lovely. Long, long, long chain. That's very nice. Is there a clasp on it? Um, well, I don't see a clasp. I'm assuming that's silver. It certainly looks like it is. But without a clasp, it's not going to be marked. But that's okay. Beautiful. Okay. Is there more in here? Nope. Okay. Moving on to the next bag. Nope, that one's empty. Okay, we'll look in this one. this. Another lovely canateal brooch. Uh, missing a stone. Missing uh, may have had like a pearl or something in there. I'll have to see what I can do about that. It is uh, um, it's got more modern hardware on it so probably a 20th century but quite fine. The detail on it is really fine. Oh, nice. Okay, and then we have earrings. Lovely sterling silver earrings. And they say 925 on the back, that's all they have. Ooh, a ring, a ring. She doesn't send me rings very often. I think because she doesn't wear rings all that much. But that's a lovely uh, Navajo green turquoise ring. Does not appear to be signed. It's not even marked. It's probably an old one. That's nice. It's in good shape. Okay, we have more. That is, looks like one of those double gourds that I see that, that the Chinese, a Chinese form that's very, but these are Mexican silver, so they're not Chinese. <laughs> but they're, they have got that mosaica azteca, mosaico azteca however you say it. Oh, very nice. Okay, this is a brooch. Oh my gosh, look at that. I think unfortunately it's... It might be... No? No, maybe not. Maybe it's supposed to look like that. That looks like morning jewelry. <gasps> It's old. This is Victorian morning brooch. Oh my gosh. That is fabulous. Um, uh, it's not marked. It looks like it's um, probably silver with a gold wash on it, I think. Oh, that's gorgeous. And we have a couple more rings here. a little pink mother of pearl and just a little uh, dome and uh, the dome is Mexico can't see much else about it on that mark and this little guy 
little pink mother of pearl is... I don't see a marking on it. That's very sweet. Okay. Looks like we have some more. There's a pendant with a garnet, I'm guessing. Oh, it's a tiny little bead. That is, it just says sterling, stamped. Um, I'm guessing that's Native American. Sure, eyelash stamps. Beautiful. These earrings, those are very nice, little drop earrings. Yeah. Offhand, I don't see any marks on those. Oh, these are fun. These are like, um, great big star earrings. Two for a dollar, it says. They're clearly a pair of earrings. <laughs> I'm, oops, I'm guessing she wouldn't have bought these if they didn't have silver marked on them somewhere. But I'm not going to stop and search for it right now. They look like silver. Okay, here is another ring. It's a malachite. Yeah. Nice little malachite ring. It is marked 95. Ah, there's the mate to this. And although, oh, one of them has a dent. Oh, that's unfortunate. Sorry. Okay, here we go. But that one's got a dent in it. Oh, that's so sad. These are marked 925. There's just no way to fix that. I don't know how to fix that. And then we have another canateal brooch. And it is old. Probably early 20th century, maybe. Maybe. Oh, that's gorgeous. There's a couple of little teeny bits and pieces there. Okay. Here comes another bag. We're opening this one this time. Just can't seem to do it without bumping the camera. here. Looks like we've got earrings. Those appear to be stamped. Uh, they are signed NS. These are undoubtedly Native American. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is a pendant. Ooh, that's so pretty. That's malachite. In a spiral. Mmm, gorgeous. That is a brooch. Kind of modernist looking. And it's marked sterling, right there. Those are very nice, silver and brass, and they are marked 
These are Mexican, 925, and then the artist's mark. Nice. And earring. Oh, here's the other one. Earrings. Oh, these have got a nice mark on them. Little turquoise. And these are marked Oz Asmanu, 925 silver. So that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Kind of sounds familiar, like I've heard of it before, but I can't place it. Oh, this is a little um, Siam silver. Little bracelet. That's sweet. For goodness sake. Okay. It is marked Siam Sterling, right? There. There. Oh, well. You'll have to take my word for it. And some little tiny silver studs. Very sweet. Oh, those are adorable. Bucks she paid for these. And they are marked S T E R. Okay, um, there's just some loose jewelry over here I'm going to show you. That. It's very interesting. I'm guessing that's Mexican. Is it? Am I wrong? Sterling. Echo in Mexico. I don't know if that says Oaxaca or what that says. It's got something right there. Oh well, anyway. <sighs> Here's a sweet little flower brooch. Looks like very 1940s. And it is marked sterling. Okay, if I can get this unhooked, I will show it to you. Let go, let go. Okay, this is a sterling silver dolphin with inlaid abalone and mother of pearl. And it is a brooch and a pendant. It does have a chain on it. Nice. And, oh, it's got a, it's definitely Mexican. I'm back. Sorry for the interruption. Oh, we have this lovely flat chain necklace. I've always liked these. They feel so nice. Uh, not terribly old because it has a lobster clasp. And it is marked 925. Okay. We have these earrings. This um, mo mosaic turquoise. Uh, screwbacks and oh they're done on both sides that's nice uh, let's see if we have a mark uh, oh yes these are signed Benjamin oops let's see if I can mm. doesn't want to focus but you can kind of see it there Benjamin Gomez. And oh, they're not silver, they're alpaca. How interesting. They're marked alpaca, but they are signed. Interesting. Hmm. Sometimes when you get these um, alpaca jewelry, the 
the um, screw back hardware will be silver while the rest of the earring is alpaca, but this one's not marked, so I guess they're alpaca. Well, that's unfortunate, but they're still really pretty. Okay, and here we have, <gasps> it's another ship. This time it's a um, canateel wire work, little boat. That's cute. Um, it's marked 925, no other marking. Okay, these are, no, I'm sorry, this is a brooch. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Okay, this is crazy looking. It's a brooch. It's kind of like um, a whip or something like that. Very abstract. That's kind of cool. Doesn't appear to be marked. But it's cool. Okay. See, there's a bunch of earrings in here that are not paired up, so. Ooh, I just had a cha ching! Yay! Some nice uh, domed stud earrings. And these are. Marked Mexico. They are signed TA something. Very nice. Okay, and oh, these are cool. Oh, I love this stone. I don't know what it is. Probably onyx, but it's mixed. This onyx comes in a lot of colors, and this has got like the black and the tan. And then black onyx there. Gosh, that's gorgeous. Oh, I really like that. As you can see, they're marked sterling, sterling, and I think that's it. I don't think they have any other markings on them. Nope. Oh, they're so pr I love those. Those are so pretty. Ooh, I'm tempted to keep those. I probably should go through my silver earrings and sell some of the ones that, you know, I've worn them a lot and I'm tired of them, but they're still really nice. Now this, she paid up on that, $35, more than she usually pays. Um, well, this is, this pin, this um, link here is kind of messed up. But anyway, this is a uh, Siam Silver. Goes this way. Nice uh, Siam Silver bracelet. Um, there. Okay. It is marked Siam Sterling. Oh, that's pretty. And we have a look at this. We have some gigantor cufflinks. My gosh, these are huge. And these are obviously Japanese. Mount Fuji in the background. They're etched. They are marked Sterling Japan. There. Right there. Those are fancy. Fancy cufflinks. Wow. Okay, these, um, oops. Another pair of nice basic sterling silver hoops. Those are nice. And, um, I don't. See any marks? Uh, oh yeah, tiny, tiny, tiny mark on the on the post. You, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but it's right there. Uh, it's ninety-five anyway. And then I believe this is the last piece. A lovely little sailboat. Oh, I have all these boats all of a sudden. And this is oh, this is a Bo Sterling. 
Worked on the bottom. Well, anyway, it is marked right there. It's just not going to focus. There. There, now you can see it. Well, isn't that sweet? I like that. Okay. All right, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I usually do about two videos a week. I do haul videos where I show my flea market finds or finds from other sources. And then I have my weekly vlogs where I just show you uh, what I'm listing and selling on eBay and Etsy, mostly Etsy, and, uh, and some other stuff that's going on in my life. And please uh, leave me a comment if you care to and share with your friends, and that's it. I'll see you again soon. Bye.